Welcome back, YouTubers. On today's video, we're gonna be knocking out reverse seared beef tenderloin. Hey, if you love to grill and barbecue, then this is the channel for you. Make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell so you don't miss a thing. Because today, we're gonna to be doing some reverse seared beef tenderloin on the L Ray, and then we're gonna reverse sear it in the firebox, caveman style. And it's gonna be good. So let's get started. First of all, we gotta trim our tenderloin up. I just pull off a little bit of this fat on the backside. And there's a lot of people that go through here and separate. I don't. Personally, I like to trim off this guy, straighten it up, and keep all this stuff. Except this. This is the part I don't like. This is a great piece right here. Wes, is this your first time seeing this? My first time. This is awesome. So it's this silver skin right here that is junk. I just put that knife under there. It's like skinning an old catfish. probably gonna do this in two pieces. Stuff is junk. These are eaters. I think I'm gonna take these home. <laughs> Mother's Day's coming up. I think that'll be right nice. Like I said, man, I, I try not to spend too much time on these. Main thing is, is get that silver skin off and uh, just trim it up to your liking. But that's it, man. Right there. Whoa. Almost got away from us. But uh, we're gonna put these in the L Ray. We're gonna rub them with uh, SPG Texas beef. Put them in the L Ray till they hit about. And I'm looking at about probably 110, probably 110 degrees. Then we're gonna pull them out, throw them in the live charcoals in the fire basket. To, that's where we're gonna get our reverse sear. So it's kind of a reverse sear caveman beef tenderloin. But that's all too much to put up there. So. I don't know. Let's go ahead and get them rubbed. SPG, we're going SPG first, and I'm gonna hit these pretty good. It's kind of a thicker cut of meat, and we'll slice it into medallions, so. It can take it. And Texas beef, the finisher. Guys use whatever you rub you like. If you don't have these at the house, don't worry. Just grab whatever you like. Oh, I try not to leave any rub on there if I don't have to. Then we're just gonna get them on the smoker and get them going. Them little suckers right there. I'm gonna in there. We'll take this, take them a little heat nap. So they're probably gonna be on there 30, 45 minutes, I'm guessing, until they get about 105, 110. We'll get them pulled out, get them drug over into the firebox, reverse sear them. Oh, it's gonna be good. This reverse sear stuff is killer, man. It's the way to do it. It's so fast. What can we reverse sear next? The pork chop. Cereal? Reverse sear cereal? I think the internet, we'd break the internet if we tried to do that. I wonder if we can cook an egg on there. With a cast, uh, 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 cast iron pan. Sure we could. Oh, sunny side up eggs. That'd be good. Let's go pop like a steak little one like that. Steak and eggs. Good. Reverse seared steak and eggs. Hey, leave us a comment down below if you think our next video ought to be reverse sear steak and eggs. I did a, I did a, a thing once, a competition where I did everything. 100% on a kettle, a Weber kettle, and I did chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes with biscuits. Everything was on a kettle. I think that's what we need to do next. No, that was a lot of work. 
Oh, you don't want to work now? No. Give the people what they want. <laughs> if you want to see breakfast on the Weber kettle, <laughs> don't you comment below. He's getting done. If you want to see it. <laughs> Do not comment below on this video. Do not hit that like button. Do not subscribe. Do not subscribe. Especially if do you want to do see. Do not do any of that. If you want to see the wonderful. Chicken fried steak on a Weber. The kettle breakfast. The kettle breakfast. Con continental kettle breakfast. The continental kettle breakfast. The kettle, con kettle continental. No, this is way more than continental though, because that would just be that stupid waffle. That's true. Those machines are cool though. I know. Is the timer? I know. Ooh, I do love a good waffle. Kettle Continental. A reverse continental. seared smoked waffle. That sounds like a fire. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. I ain't tearing up. Uh, we got a waffle fire at uh, 400,000 Vermont. Over. Alright, so we got 110. Pull these little suckers out. Oh. Here we go. Into the fire. looking for 127 hopefully 120 127 what's in there I'll live with what either one That's what I'm talking about, brother. So we're just gonna put them in this full tent and just let them rest for a few minutes. Oh! <laughs> Rookie! He's new. <laughs> All right, so we've wrapped it up. We've let it rest about 15 minutes. We're just gonna jump on in here and dig in. I love the char that it puts on this. So these end pieces are always going to be a little bit more done. That's okay. So let's just jump right on here and take a bite. I love the bark I guess. tried reverse searing a beef tenderloin absolutely try this this is phenomenal well hey as always thank you for watching make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell and go ahead and give us a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what should we reverse sear next and i'll catch you in the next video peace